Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar on Meridian's Personnel Management Kiosk. My name is Melissa Harward and I'm our Marketing Coordinator here at Meridian. Um, also on the line today, um, our group of panelists includes Dominic Adable, our Industrial Designer, and Paul Burden, our Director of Software. So we're going to start off the webinar with a brief overview on Meridian, a brief overview of the personnel management kiosk itself, and then we're going to jump into a question and answer session. Um, so feel free to ask any questions that you may have, um, and we will get to those in the second half of the webinar. Um, to start off a little bit about Meridian, so Meridian is a fully integrated manufacturer of indoor and outdoor kiosks, interactive digital signage, and self-service software. So uh, part of what makes us unique is that we develop all of our products and services all under one roof. Um, so from engineering to manufacturing, hardware integration and software, we do everything in-house. Um, so at our Aberdeen, North Carolina facility, we have full-scale production facility, a 13-acre manufacturing campus, full metal fa fabrication facility. We're ISO 9001 2015 certified. Uh, we are experts in ADA, FCC, and HIPAA compliance, and we have a full software development department that sits in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Diving into the hardware aspect of the personnel management kiosk, the solution is designed to protect the health and safety of employees and guests by checking temperatures of those attempting to enter or access a facility. Some of the features of the unit include temperature verification, facial identification, temperature threshold alarms, and it comes in pedestal and countertop configurations, which we'll get into a little bit next. So the first configuration is the pedestal. Um, on the left-hand side, you will see how the units will arrive. Um, and then on the right-hand side is an option for graphics. So we work with graphics companies across the country. Um, if graphics are something that you are interested in, including on your unit, uh, the graphic templates are available to download on our website. Um, and we can connect you uh, with some of those companies we work with. The countertop unit is next. As you can see, um, it's a shorter version of the freestanding pedestal, and graphics can also be incorporated into that unit as well. Diving into the software aspect, so the personal management kiosk is a board level solution, and it comes equipped with that custom board level software already on the unit. Um, as far as features goes, it includes LAN or Wi-Fi connectivity, it's FCC and CE certified with a temperature variance of 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.5 degrees Celsius. It has the ability to recognize up to 30,000 faces and includes a variety of voice prompts. So a few of the temperature settings that are available on this board level solution. Um, so you are able to disable the temperature reading feature uh, for the body temperature test. There is a compensation temperature calibration that offsets the red temperature calibrating to environmental changes. An alarm threshold that can be in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, which indicates the value at which the alarm is triggered. A body temperature alarm that dictates whether or not an alarm will sound when a user passes the temperature threshold test. Mask detection that indicates whether or not the user should be wearing a mask when they enter a facility. And then stranger mode. When stranger mode is off, uh, strangers are denied access to the facility. On the other hand, when stranger mode is on, um, strangers are strangers or guests, anyone who's not registered in the system is able to access the facility using the kiosk. So this is a bit of an example of what the back end system looks like. So these are some of our employees that are logged into the system. Um, employees or other approved visitors are easily added to the facial database in a matter of seconds. Um, it's easily done from the kiosk, which comes uh, in the box with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combination. Um, so informational fields that you're able to add um, along with their picture include their name, their type, so staff, visitor, et cetera, an expiration date, and then of course the picture to go along. Since all of these on the screen that you see are employees at our North Carolina facility, 
everyone has an expiration date of forever um, because they will be coming into the office every day. Another aspect of the software um, that is not currently available but will be available very soon is M0 Manage. So M0 Manage is a software product um, that Meridian has had for a number of years, but Paul's software team is currently adapting the solution to work with the personnel management kiosk specifically. So M0 Manage is designed to monitor multiple kiosks in remote location at once. So it helps all of your kiosks um, integrate together and be rem managed remotely. Some of the features that it will include are the ability to add and edit a list of employees, the ability to import a list of employees, a REST interface, and then um, a report section, oops, a report section um, on the M0 Manage interface. So as you can see, you'll be able to access the reports from your own computer. So that is a brief overview of the solution. I'm sure many of you have questions, um, so feel free to submit those now, and we will start answering those as they come in. So our first question is, can a message be put on the screen at check-in asking the person if they have experienced symptoms like loss of smell or have been out of the country in the last three weeks? I'll answer that. Meridian is uh, working on a, a Windows version of the same solution and will have far more fun flexibility than the Android tablet. So the the tablet, the Android tablet version is uh, a non-touch screen and it doesn't have prompts. So it's uh, basically for building entry only. So uh, we will have more functionality in the Windows platform once that's uh, released and we're work currently working on that in parallel. Next question asks, is there an option to integrate with other systems for rosters? Yes, there will be an API through M0 Manage, which is the hosted subscription uh, that you can uh, connect to other systems. You'll be able to connect and add, edit, and manage employees uh, that are in your system that are getting access through the, uh, through the software. The next question asks, what voice prompts are available and can they be customized? The voice prompts are templates uh, and there's one for, we have 16 different languages. So we have uh, 16 uh, different voice groups of audio files. And for English, there's some fixed uh, prompts. So it tells you to proceed or uh, if you're over temperature, there's specific uh, uh, messages. Uh, if your order size is large enough, uh, there'd be an MQO. Uh, so you talk to your sales rep. If you have a, a larger number, it's possible to customize this. So um, we'll have to determine based on the quantity you want to order if customization is possible. The next question asks, if you choose not to use photos, would you use stranger mode? Yes, uh, you would uh, turn on stranger mode and uh, there would be no photos stored on, uh, sorry, uh, like no employee photos that would need to be stored on the device. So just be entry pass records. Next question asks, is this software encrypted? Where is the stored facial recognition information stored? Uh, the device uh, stores the information on entry records. So it's just the time, the temperature, and a photo of the person. Uh, it's in stored on the embedded, embedded chip of the system. So it's only accessible through the software. And it's password protected. Uh, we're working on disk, full disk encryption. Uh, and uh, we hope to have some updates on fully encrypting the disk. I know that's a uh, a uh, frequently asked question by many customers. So we'll uh, we'll have hopefully more information on full disk encryption coming soon. Um, that said, uh, the M0 Manage, which you can pair with this device, will uh, have encryption in transit and at rest in the uh, central database. The next question asks, 
can the facial recognition function be turned off? You need the facial recognition because uh, that triggers the uh, camera. So it will determine that there's a face in front of it and that's what starts the camera processing. So it's sort of an in integral part of the function of the solution. Uh, uh, you can turn off or not choose not to use the employee recognition, which would uh, do face recognition and put a name to uh, the face that's theirs. But uh, so you can simply just use it to recognize a face. Next question asks, what is the typical setup time? So I can answer this one. Um, sure. So the unit comes as a plug and play solution. So once you unbox it, um, it's pretty much ready to go. You just plug it in um, and start entering your employees. Um, so just a matter of minutes. As far as adding an individual employee, um, we're saying it takes about five to 10 seconds per employee. Next question asks, can the system be connected to a door entry system? Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of connection options that come out of the base of the unit. One is called a, a Wagon a pigtail connector, and that can connect to a lot of uh, security systems. So if you have an existing building access system, it probably uses Wagon uh, connectivity. So that's an option. It also has a relay output. So you could use relay. Um, so it will, uh, it will open and close a relay switch to open a door or provide access through a gate should they pass. So it's a real easy integration for a lot of systems. It's quite generic. We call that dry contact relay. There's also some serial options. So if you want to communicate RS-232 with the device, you can do that as well. So. Uh, as well, entry records can be obtained through our M0 Manage software uh, through the API. Next question asks, what is the lead time on these kiosks? Uh, we're currently saying four week lead time. Next question asks, does the system connect to Active Directory? Not presently, but through the APIs we're going to be providing through M0 Manage, you'd be able to connect uh, other systems, including things like Active Directory, to uh, populate it with uh, a roster of employees, for instance. Next question asks, can you turn off the alarm? Yeah, there's two modes for the alarm. So there's a, a voice uh, message and an alarm so this is more of a siren sound it's it's a bit louder than uh just the voice messages but if you turn the siren off it it would just say uh um i, I forget what the exact message is but uh it would just say a more friendly voice uh recorded message that says uh, you can't enter next question asks is there a time stamp for attendance purposes yeah, you can use the uh, devices for attendance. So it does have a timestamp recorded. So you can export, for instance, you can go into the device, uh, into the menu and attach uh, a USB CF card and export all of the data and then use that for a time system. If you have M0 Manage, it will centrally aggregate all of the entry units and you'll be able to, to tell um, what the entry times are. We're also working uh, on a, a time a uh, I guess it would be an attendance module. Uh, that's it's a bit further out than our main release, but uh, we will work on an attendance module that uh, provides uh, time and attendance records. The next question asks, do we have to be certified such as have a security license? I'm not aware of any specific regulation that would prevent you from using the system out of the box, but keep in mind there are some regulations such as uh, um, HEPA that you may want to discuss with your internal security team because you are collecting information from people, so um, you need to make sure that that data is uh, handled correctly. So depends where you are as well. So. 
Next question asks, what amount of facial change can be accommodated? For example, facial hair, glasses, bangs, etc. A fair degree. Uh, I, for instance, when I test myself, I, I wear glasses. I can take my glasses off, uh, grow my beard, put a hat on. Uh, also, it detects with uh, a facial mask, so I can cover my nose and mouth with the mask, and it will still recognize my eyes. Uh, but it, it takes a bit longer. Um, the accuracy could potentially be reduced uh, with the mask, but uh, it, it's fairly um, it's fairly good in that regard. The next question asks, is there a cost for software? Uh, the software is included with the device. The, so you, uh, all the, the functionality, the entry and employee database, uh, if you want to centralize it in our hosted facility, there is a yearly subscription cost. Uh, I think it was, maybe you can help me with the price. I can't remember. Yeah, it's um, MDR manages 295 per kiosk per year. Yeah, that's for quantity one. So if you have uh, other quantities, there is a different price, so a reduced price for volume. So uh, that would assist you in centrally managing multiple units and synchronizing data between them. The next question asks, will the Android tablets be usable when the Windows release comes out or will we need different tablets? So they'll be able to work in parallel. So there will be two product lines. One is the existing Android version, and then the new Windows version will come out. So if you're a managed subscriber, you'll be able to run them in parallel. But they are different options. So it's like ordering a different type of system. So uh, they'll both be sold in parallel by Meridian. And uh, they'll both have different functionalities and a, a lot of the similar functionalities as well. We'll have more details when we get closer to the release of the Windows update, but it's not going to do anything to your existing Android units. It's uh, just be a, an additional offering. Next question asks, can the system send a message via email when alarms go off, or is there a way to access the results of a screening in real time? Yes, yeah, so there will be a dashboard if you are an M0 managed subscriber, and uh, you'll be able to see real time scans as well as receive alerts by email. We're looking at adding SMS in the first version as well. Uh, so you'll receive an alert if you have chose uh, to subscribe your account to receive the alerts if there's a high temperature. Next question asks. How does the sensor react to summertime skin temperatures for people walking in from the outdoors? In our tests, we've noticed that uh, if you have heated up your skin, so if you were in direct sunlight, it does take a few seconds for that to normalize. So if you did it very immediately, there might be a condition where it's hot, but uh, it just basically takes a few seconds for the skin temperature to cool down. It will sample the actual skin temperature, so there's not much the, the system can do to compensate for that. So, uh, But it, it does, in our tests, dissipate very quickly. Next question asks, can you store the data on a server that is housed in our data center? Yeah, that would be an on-premises option, and we do sell uh, on-premises solutions for Meridian, so uh, we can we can discuss that further if you're looking for on-premises solutions as opposed to uh, our hosted SaaS offering. Next question asks: Is the entire system NDAA compliant? Uh, not sure about that one. NDAA. We can oh, come back to yeah, that. Yeah, it's the National Defense uh, Authorization Act. Yeah, it's not been certified yeah, yeah. officially, yeah. but uh, what it has, uh, we've done some analysis on the restrictions. I think of, of uh, specific uh, manufacturers that are on the NDAA ban list, and uh, it 
uses no vendors or camera manufacturers that are on that uh, ban list. Next question asks, can you upload existing photos or does each employee profile need to be set up with the kiosk directly? You can do it either way. Uh, if, if you are operating without M0 Manage, then you would need to use the kiosk directly with the tablet to uh, log the face. So you'd have to set up everyone in the system. If you have M0 Manage, uh, that has an import and creation utility. So if you have the pictures that were already taken from a library, you can import these and, uh, and, and add employees uh, through that uh, batch import process. Next question asks, can stranger mode be enabled remotely or on a timer? Yeah, there is a toggle to change settings uh, through M0 Manage. So if you have a subscription to that, there would be settings and that is one of the settings that you can toggle. It would not be something you can do on a timer, but um, that if, if there's enough requests for that, that's something perhaps we could add uh, to the roadmap. But not been asked that one yet so I'm not sure how much uh, interest there is in it but uh, um, we could potentially add that to the roadmap. Next question asks can you set your own temperature for pass fail? Yeah so you can customize the temperature in the setting screen or in the remote software to uh, to set the threshold for the alarm so if you want to uh, slightly lowered or increase it. I think the default is uh, 100.4, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you could you could increase it or decrease it from there in the software configuration settings. Next question asks, can you add a company logo to the screen when it's not in use? Uh, currently, no, but uh, it, it is something that may be possible coming in a, a future release, perhaps within the next month. We'll We'll have more information and in release notes if you're a managed subscriber. There would be uh, potentially the capability to add a logo on the, uh, the face detection screen at the bottom right. Next question asks, are there special cleaning instructions or additional cleaning solutions needed? Uh, I can take uh, that one. Sure. Um, the resources tab on the personnel management kiosk page on our website. Um, has a resource link through to a blog we did about um, best practices for cleaning your kiosks. So including the instructions and then suggested materials to use as well. Next question asks, can you show employees their temperature on the screen? If so, can it only be done if they fail the test? Uh, right now, it displays in all cases, so uh, it will display the temperature red. Uh, we're working on a feature uh, in a coming release um, to say pass or fail AC instead call of when the actual temperature. AC, like, like, uh, do I don't know if we had uh, any plans to mix those up where it's like a pass unless you fail and then there's a temperature. So uh, the majority of the requests we get to customize that would be just to make a, a straight pass and fail rather than displaying the temperature. So there will be two modes, but as it stands right now, it, it displays the temperature as you enter, regardless of the outcome. Next question asks, is there a waiting time for failed tests or would an individual be able to retest immediately? No, they can test again right away. So they're, there's nothing stopping them from scanning once or twice, but the outcome will likely be similar. However, I guess if it's that scenario where you just came out from outdoors, it does give you a second opportunity um, if, if you wait a minute to see if it's uh, external influence, such as this direct sunlight or something on the face that uh, had influenced the temperature. So you could uh, rescan and uh, make sure it's consistent between the previous test or not. Next question asks, is the solution HIPAA compliant? We, uh, we have not certified the solution with HIPAA. We do uh, have an ongoing discussion about making that happen. Uh, however, nothing is, uh, there's 
we've only begun that process. So uh, what we are advising you now is to review the solution internally with your HEPA compliance team and make your own decision regarding that. We, we will uh, share with you whatever information you need in order to make a decision in that regard. Next question asks, can you give a little bit more detail about how it will be able to integrate with Active Directory? How do notifications work to notify the hosts of visitors or guests arriving? Okay, so uh, I'll take the second part of that question, the notification system. So that's part of M0 Manage, uh, and that will be a notification internally handled by that system. So uh, the user would be able to uh, press a button to opt in to email alerts, and another button to opt into SMS alerts, and then they'd be asked or prompted to enter their own phone number. And uh, it, uh, after that, it will start sending out text messages uh, or emails, depending on which uh, option you chose. Uh, for Active Directory, um, well, uh, there's APIs in M0 Manage that would allow you to connect Active Directory into M0 Manage. So, uh, you would need to discuss perhaps with your on-site development team um, how best to achieve getting data from one system to the other. Uh, we will publish API documentations and our developers are here to support you. Uh, we're getting lots of requests right now to integrate with various systems. Uh, some of these systems we may end up integrating with directly. Uh, I think Active Directory would be probably one of the ones that would be frequently asked, so it's possible in the near-term ro uh, roadmap we would have Active Directory integration too. Next question asks, is this measuring skin temperature or body temperature? Uh, the unit is, is triggered by the presence of a face, so the face has to be in front of the camera, so the, the face will be the most predominant part of the body in the uh, in the scanning area of, of the thermal sensor once your face is presented so it's it's the face and it will take the hottest point on the face next question asks when will m0 manage be released and if i receive a shipment prior can i add m0 manage to the unit yeah so that'll be available in the the coming week uh, or two, uh, I think probably the fifth, I know in previous calls we were saying the 29th, but I think the fifth is probably more realistic. Uh, I'll have a, a more accurate schedule here in the next couple of days of when the release is. Um, if you've received a unit, uh, you'll be able to install an update and configure a login in order to join M0 Manage when it's available. So we'll have more information on that when it's uh, ready. Next question asks, do you have a reseller program? Uh, we do have a reseller program, and if you are interested in that, um, there is an application on the partners page of our website. Um, if you can complete the reseller application and submit that along with your reseller certificate to partners at m0.com, um, we will send you a reseller agreement. Next question asks, will the Windows version be a touch screen? Yes, you'll be able to use a touch screen on the Windows version. Next question asks, do any of your kiosks have hand sanitizer holders attached to them? That is not something that we are offering with this unit currently, no. I think we are working on a hand sanitizer dispenser, though, so there may be some more options coming shortly with, for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Next question asks, do you have any reviews or customer testimonials? Um, so we are uh, sharing reference information. If you're interested in that, um, you can email sales at m0.com and we can show you the information of some of our references. Next question asks, can a questionnaire or waiver be signed electronically as part of the temperature scan? 
Uh, you would have to wait for a Windows version that would give you more flexibility to add features like that with the touchscreen interface and potentially voice prompts. All right. Um, so I think that is our last question. Um, so I appreciate all of you attending. Thank you to the Meridian panel for being here as well. Um, and if you have any additional questions that you did not have answered, uh, please feel free to email sales at m0.com and we will get those answered for you as quickly as possible. If I could just uh, interject, I know I've gotten a few emails of people sending it to N0 and, and the number. So M0 is spelled uh, first letter M as in Meridian, C E R O. So that's m0.com. Thanks for clarifying, Dominic. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for attending.